This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. Ready to get us started, the Aussie punter and kickoff man, Michael Dixon. And off we go from Seattle. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson forced out to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. K.J. Wright, a sensational effort by him, and that is one of the biggest losses you'll ever see on a sack. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. To throw is Jackson, dancing to his left. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. From the gun, Jackson. And that would be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. That's a 49-yard punt, eight, though, on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Here's Rashad Penny, first carry for the former San Diego State Aztec. And unable to get down. Hill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. There's big power. Wilson leaves this one with Penny. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On third down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. 14, 14, 
Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Let's switch the mic right here. We'll go Mike Ford. Mike Ford. Mike Ford. Hey. Oh, Trot. That was a slam. Ford is the mic. <laughs> Here we go on fourth with Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You want some explanations. Throwing on second down, Jackson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Quentin Jefferson able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. 